<laughs> Happy Easter. Wait a second. That's a weird looking bunny. Okay, it's not exactly Easter anymore. I'm late to the party, sue me. Ah, uh, yes. The Discovery Channel. The day it all started. This is the day I started the Discovery Channel. It all started with one wolf and a few sheep. But now that I've planted this seed so that the Discovery Channel and planet Earth can exist and David Attenborough can exist, it is time for us to go back to the future. It's been a while. We've been in the past for quite some time. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we got one charge left. Our vehicle's not looking too good. And there's someone that's been waiting there patiently that we should probably go visit. And I'm, I'm hungry. There's lots of things going on here. So let's just get to the damn future. I forget how far into the future we can go. Um, no, that's not what I want. I want the uh, time conduction. There we go. I don't remember where that button even is. Let's see what life was like on this day for us a few years ago for the game, the future. Oh, I didn't set a time. My bad. 11, 11. Make sure you make a wish as soon as we get there because you won't have much time until it's 11, 12. Does anyone else do that? Making wishes on 11, 11? I can't remember who taught me that. I didn't know it for a long time. So I missed out on some wishes. You know, I'm a little behind. I got some catching up to do. Maybe that means I can make one big grand wish. Or maybe I get my own genie as compensation for all the wishes I make. Maybe I should wish for a genie. Okay, it's, it's getting too deep. Let's go. You know what? I always forget to do this and I, for, and I regret it. I forget it, then I regret it. So let's just get a little bit higher up in the air where we're not going to hopefully hit a building. Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> I just turned it on. No, I just, okay. There you go, buddy. What happened? <laughs> this is why you got to be careful when you have things in your vehicle, in your trunk, when you're driving or time traveling in this case. Um, things can just kind of fly through and hit you. And you might be saying, hey, man, cool down your car. What are you doing? Dude, I almost got smacked in the face with a grill. This thing did almost 10% damage to my vehicle. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. All right, we have a problem. Everything I ever owned is gone. That time travel just launched everything out of my car. Um, and somehow, the grill stayed. The grill is here. That's that's a good thing. Um, the bad thing is my dimension boxes, plural, they're gone. I don't know if this is a new bug that was just introduced <laughs> or if I did something wrong. That seems to be a common thing here where I'm like, oh, my God, is this a bug? And it's like, no, stupid. You're stupid. Oh, sorry. My, my bad. My bad. Some people tell me that the sheep have health bar and can be shot. I shoot the sheep. Nothing happens. But apparently the only thing wrong with them is that they were a little slow. I don't know. I don't know anymore. But I do know my... Is that my dimension box? I feel like I see something on this person's roof. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Have you seen a little orange box? Oh, that was... <gasps> my box! Yes! Okay, we got one. We got one. This is, I thought I saw it on the roof, but I'll take this instead. We found one box. It's kind of like an Easter egg hunt, if you think about it. It was kind of like a little Easter egg in the game, you know? Easter egg was the Easter egg hunt. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So I'm trying to think if there's anything like really important. So I got Mr. Crafty here. I got Sir Adam, a fusion cell, and an Eleanor flower. Not bad, not bad. I got the gun. Hoverboard's not that important. I could always buy a new one. Um, not too worried about that. So um, now we're just kind of hoping to find the other box, maybe. I can't even remember what was in the box. Now I kind of don't want to leave either until I potentially find it. But I'm kind of wondering, like, I feel like I got extremely lucky just finding one. And I'm also wondering, did they all make it to this side of the time zone with me? Hmm. I feel like if I leave wherever I am right now... I'm gonna lose track of where I am right now. Okay, we'll leave we'll leave this stuff here. 
and that'll help me find it when I need it. It's a weird theory, but hopefully it works. Let's see if we can kind of figure out where we are here. We're straight across from the skate park. <laughs> Down the road from the skate park. To be honest, I don't know if I'll find that box again, and I'm kind of wondering if it matters. Like, I feel like most stuff is replaceable, except maybe the gun. I don't even know, though. Well, let's refuel that. Oh, gotta hit the actual refuel button. There we go. Well, that's refueling. We're kind of like, you know, getting ourselves fixed up before we go. Oh, hold on. Okay, well, there's a dimension box here, but <laughs> it's completely empty and it was open. I don't know what the hell is happening. What the hell? You got like a desk and stuff now? Damn, and you got a robotic arm? Wow, you. You moved up in the world quick, huh? All right, my guy, Bill, how you doing? 63 bucks? Damn, you still cheap. Nice guy. Nice guy. No wonder you've been in business for so long. Am I right? Or am I wrong? Spoiler, I'm usually right. <laughs> Everyone who's actually watched a bunch of videos is like, no, you're not. <laughs> We're all fixed up and ready for you, Tom. Is it? Wait. Tom? I don't remember you looking like this, Tom. The hell? When did you? What happened to you? I remember you serving me food in the future and you looked like Bill, but your name was Tom. Now you look... I'm not sure how I feel about it. I mean, I was gonna come in here and be like, Tom, it's been so long. Tom, it's been so long. Tom. It was gonna be some auto-tune. It was gonna be great. I think you've kind of spoiled it. I even had reservations. Wait, strawberries? They always have strawberries? Well, this is new. I know that. And after all this, I need a drink. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Tom? All right, man. See you later. Don't want to spoil my dinner too much. I'm going to the dinner I was going to take you on. You've changed, Tom. You've changed. I know I told you to wait for me. And I know I've been gone for a long time, but you've changed. How could you? Okay, okay, okay. So, I wasn't kidding about reservations. Because a lot of restaurants are closed. A lot of, a lot of places that you go to eat are closed. There's some that are still open, braving the front lines. And to them I say, thank you very much. You're doing, you're doing a brave thing. And it's disappointing because... Some of my favorite places, I learned, have uh, decided to close their doors until all this is blown over. And um, it's getting to that point, it's getting to that milestone, that waiting mark, where I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm, I'm craving it. You know, I didn't think I was addicted to some of these foods, but maybe I need to go to some meeting or something. Hi, my name is Wonka, and I'm addicted to sandwiches. One of, one of the ones for me, one of the big ones for me is um, a little place. I don't know if they have them where you live, but in Canada here, we have a place called Mr. Sub. Some people hate them, some people love them. I'm one of those people on the, on the flip side. This is the love side. So there's a little place that I was going to take Tom, but since Tom decided to go become a different person, completely change as a human, I've decided that I'm going to go uh, on my own. There's a little place, you know, see that little castle over there? See the, the castle, like, in the trees, just a little bit up ahead? Yeah, not there. Hey! Yo, man, you don't gotta do that to me. You know, I'm faster on the ground, all right, buddy? You think you're, you think you're so... Oh, you think you're so clever, huh? Well, watch in awe. This lady's gonna watch in awe. Ready, lady? Yeah, look how fast I am. Now you think I could race that train? Who believes in me? But nobody believes in me. So you might be wondering, because I'm I'm I have arrived at my destination, according to Google Maps. Oh, you're welcome, YouTube, by the way, for that plug. I'll be taking my check in the mail. Don't worry. <clears throat> so you might you might be thinking someone's gonna actually think that's real too. Like this guy just got paid for saying Google Maps. What the fuck? But so you might be saying to yourself, well, where's the restaurant? I mean, looks a little empty. You know, I've heard of a boat restaurant. Is it in that lighthouse? Is it a lighthouse restaurant? Seems like a little bit of a skinny lighthouse. 
pretty personal setting, if you ask me. And I say, Simpleton, we are in the future. So you gotta think big. To infinity. And James Bond. Is that how it goes? Look at this thing. It's been a while because we were stuck in the past. I've wanted to show you guys this for a while, but um, you know, you gotta, you gotta kind of wait until the time is right. And now the time is right. If I could figure out how to park here. Can I park in this? Will this thing hold me in? Come on, there's some nice music we could be enjoying if you could just be quiet. What? First of all, I'm I'm impressed that I was that I managed to park here so well. But that is the coolest parking spot I've ever seen. And the fact that this is working as well as it's working completely distracts me from the fact that I lost all of my cargo on the way here. So welcome to um I don't know if this place Hey man, I rented out this whole place because we're not supposed to be in here with more than one people. What what, just because I cancel with Tom means you guys open back up again? I know he's the rich one here, but th th come on. This is cool. A restaurant in the sky. Terrifying. Terrifying. I could see a headline now where it just doesn't go so well for that restaurant in the sky. But look, we could sit down, have dinner with this guy. He seems okay with it. Oh. Yeah, you might want to go check on him. Or are you just coming over to say hi? <laughs> one at a time, one at a time. I can't take all this atten attention. Oh, at least somebody. You just, you just wanted to sit here, I see. I feel like there's a voice I could do here and it might be offensive. So I'm gonna avoid that. Yes, welcome to fried noodles. Cause that's all we sell here is fried noodles. But I'm gonna take my noodles and I'm gonna sit here without Tom and enjoy them. Everything is moving. Everything is swaying. This is worse than eating on a boat in the middle of the water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you guys gotta go. You guys gotta go. I, I, I can't, I, you guys gotta go. You, got, you guys gotta go.